Welcome to Pub Travels. We are here at our friend's house today, Todd and Sandy, and we are going to make Todd's secret recipe margarita. So we're just hanging out. We've had some awesome pizza. We had kind of a, I don't even know what you want to call our pizza. Wait a second, Dave. I didn't agree to make anybody my secret margarita recipe. Oh, I'm I mean, sorry. I don't even know these people. <laughs> we can introduce you. Well, that might help. Okay, we'll introduce. This is Todd. This Hi. is this is our friend uh, that's going to teach us how to make really good margaritas. Probably not his secret recipe because we'll leave some of those secret ingredients out. That's right. And I'm watching you. Don't tell just anybody. Hold on, I gotta get ice. <laughs> All right. So while he's getting ice, we're going to talk about our wonderful evening so far. It's always great to hook up and and, and, and hang out with some friends and, and catch up on old times and things and stories and. Uh, just uh, can't be grateful enough for their hospitality for having us over and asking us to kind of like, do a little something fun and shoot some video here. So we're gonna do that. So we're starting off with some fresh ice. How fresh is your ice? Uh, it's fresh. It's fresh. So uh, for those of you that have tried different margaritas, this margarita, uh, I learned how to make this in Guadalajara, Mexico. And uh, some of you may say, I've got a better recipe, and that's great. Um, in that case, you can turn off now. But for those of you that really want to have a great margarita, here's how we do it. First of all, I'm going to get, you got to have basic cocktail making um, equipment, a strainer, a shaker, ice, maybe a knife, that type of thing. Can you make a um, martini with these also? Absolutely. In fact, that's what the original intention was, was to make a, mar a martini. So and a good old, I can make a good old, I can make lots of things with these two metal things. So anyway, the, the margarita though, the secret to a good margarita is balance. We want a drink that's going to be balanced with sweet, sour, and alcohol. And if we do it just right, it will set you free. So hold on. So maybe that's where I go wrong with my margaritas is I'm a little... Overbalanced on the alcohol, a little overbalanced on the sour, and I really don't care about the sweet. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is give you the recipe list. One, simple syrup. And I make my simple syrup at home. It's very easy. It's a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar and water. A cup of sugar, a cup of water. Simmer it. Don't boil it. Let it cool. And that's your sip. It'll last in the refrigerator for two weeks. Two fresh lime juice. Now you can go out and you can buy the bottle of whatever they use to make that thing, but that's how it's going to taste. It's going to taste like whatever. If you really want a truly good margarita, it has to be made with fresh ingredients. Three, Contro. Contro is, you know, this is probably uh, along with the tequila, the more expensive item. And it is your kind of a simple syrup, some people say. Some people say kind of a uh, orange, uh, like a triple sec, except it's made with alcohol. It is a liqueur, correct? It is a liqueur, right. And then three, tequila. We could spend a whole uh, episode on tequilas, but essentially this is just a very budget uh, conscious bottle of uh, uh, Espolon. It's about 80 proof. It's a Blanco. I like Blanco in margaritas. I feel like they're very good. Try it. Try this one. That'll be your benchmark. And then from there, explore. And you know me, I'll just drink any tequila that's available, but I do prefer Blancos. So, step one, equal proportions. Remember, balance. So I'm going to put a jigger full of simple syrup. This is a two ounce jigger. Then I'm going to add a jigger of fresh lime juice that I squeezed earlier. We can have a separate episode on how to squeeze limes if you really feel like you need one. That's two. Then my Contro. Same amount. Wow, I'm surprised that it's an equal part with the Contro. It is. Uh, now the tequila, we go a little extra. As well you should. As well you should. The tequila is going to be two jiggers. 
the same said two ounce jigger. Come on. Hopefully I won't lose count. Two. Okay. Now we're going to add ice. But before I shake this up and, and, and add the ice, I'm going to prep my glass. So, prepping the glass is crucial in making a really good cocktail. Whatever you're making, right? I think so. If it's going to be a cold drink, you want to you prep your, your glass, fill it with ice, chill it. You have to have it all set to go. I'm using an old-fashioned glass, a rocks glass, some people call, and I'm dipping it into a little bit of lime juice. You don't need to have one of these things. You just kind of rub it in lime juice. And then I have a mixture of tajin, T-A-J-I-N. Yes, correct. Is that right? With a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. And voila, I get a nice little rim on the glass. Nothing like a good rim job. Nothing like... A good rim job. Fill the glass full of ice. And I'm going to go about three quarter with the ice. Okay, maybe a little bit more. And now I'm ready. Now I'm going to add ice to my shaker. So ice is definitely critical to an ice chill drink. Oh, yeah. This is, this is, this is part of the secret. You want to know no secrets. No secrets. And then we shake. Shake from the heart. Right? From the heart. How we doing? <laughs> See, now this That's is good to be a great. frosty can, so I, I know I'm, feel I'm pretty much there. Nice and icy. Chill. Nice and icy. Then I got frosty. a strainer somewhere around here. Well, yeah, earlier. Oh, in the sink. My glass. Look at this coming together. Does it look like a margarita? It does. A little spillage on the side. That just goes to show that I'm not a pro. You can do this at home. And then a line. Garnish. And at home you can also lick that up. But I wouldn't do that in a bar. You don't know how sanitary that is. Well, you can lick it up. I, uh... Wait, here's my line. And then... Now, if only I had somebody that wanted... Oh, here's the contestant right here. Well, here you go. All right, so Donna's going to have our little sample of the margarita. And I think there's room for one more. Same thing. Donna's giving a thumbs up. Thumbs up. See the camera. Okay, camera. Donna hands. Thumbs up. Nice. All right. Same exercise, go with the ice. Yeah, I'm probably running a little low on ice. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think this is yours. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you sharing uh, you know, your margarita recipe with so us. I'm so glad you guys came by. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Have a great night. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, let's give this a try here. Uh, the rim job looks beautiful. That's what she said. Tastes even better. Donna wants a little cheers. Yeah, there we go. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. There we go. Absolutely delicious. <clears throat> I don't want Donna on pipe. <laughs> oh, <that was> so <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> That's the best burger I, I think I've ever had. Call 911. Alright, we'll do that again. Edit. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. What I really love about this, you get margarita, margarita mixes, and they're just so overly sweet. Where you order margarita at a bar, order a Mexican restaurant, and they've got all the margarita mixes. They're just so over sweetened and over, just full of sugar. Really enjoyable, really bright. Absolutely delicious. Cannot thank you enough. Really appreciate you doing you know, your pub travels with us. No, we're gonna we can we can go on and come on, stick around. We're, we're gonna play games for a little while. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep the video going a little bit later. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it edits out. Anyway, this is our margarita. It's Todd's margarita. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, please click like, subscribe, and share. And thanks again for watching Pub Travels. Oh. Uh -huh.
Love Travelers. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Thank <laughs> you.